The mouth-body connection becomes clear in other ways. The first signs of serious disease often appear in the oral cavity. This teenager has AIDS and has been treated for candidiasis, a condition caused by Candida albicans. Candida albicans uh, is a class of organism called a yeast. It has a close association with human. It usually does not cause a problem uh, unless there's something that creates an imbalance in the human body, and then it can be invasive. Uh, specifically when there's a depression of the immune system. Uh, if it gets into the bloodstream, it can be quite lethal. There are some drugs now, but the guess is that they will become uh, ineffective soon. Uh, we need a new approach. With this goal, NIDR is funding a major grant in collaboration with industry to map the entire Candida albicans genome. The resulting data will yield information on the life cycle of the yeast and how it switches to dangerous and drug-resistant forms. In the 1940s, most people expected to live to be around 60. Today's extended lifespan has inspired higher expectations about quality of life. People are unwilling to accept body parts that are breaking down. So scientists are using tricks of nature to regenerate tissue and bone. This new area of study is called biomimetics. Some of the original biomimetics work is sponsored by NIDR. An institute-supported team is trying to reinvent enamel in the laboratory.